Hi there, Fred. Well, here's this whole thing about uh, finding out what the pitch is of a motor. So I've got one of your small arms running at 3 volts. You can probably see right up here, there's the voltage. Motor's down there, and it's uh, making a pitch of 1520 or so hertz, cycles per second. So with 12s, I've been testing them at 5 volts. So let me crank this one up here. So it's vacillating between 4.9 and 4.99 and 5 volts. I'm going to switch to amps. So this one is motor number seven. So I'm going to take my piece of paper here and add in number seven. The pitch is kind of going all over the place. I was breaking this motor in at 3 volts for about 45 minutes. I kind of let it run at 5 volts for a while just to see what it if it settles down into something. It's about four amps draw. Looks like it's settling down to about 3060, somewhere around there. I'm going to write that down. 3060, four amps. Okay, we're going to shut that one down. And we'll put motor number six on here. So uh, number seven and number six and seven, those are small arm motors. You can tell right away that the pitch is a lot higher on this motor. A lot higher. About five and a quarter amps. Pitch is about 3,800 hertz. Starting to go down a little bit. Once the brushes start seeding a little bit and it gets warmed up, the pitch will usually go down. Amp draw is also going down. About 4.6 amps. 4.6. Oh, it's really going down now.
I'm going to put this one down for about 3,600 hertz. 3,600 and four and three quarters amps. Shut it down. Okay, next motor. This is motor number two, and this one is a big arm. One of my um, motors that I built for this uh, NASCAR series. So let's see what this one does. I'm watching the amp draw. Started at seven amps and it's dropping. I would say the pitch is real similar to the previous motor. Looks like it's averaging about 3600 hertz. Amp draw is kind of going back and forth between six and a third and six and a half. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. This one is motor number four. Also a 540 arm. Just back from came in where it was made round. Here we go. Starting out at 7.4 amp draw and dropping. I'm pretty sure you can hear the pitch going down and as you can see on the numbers the the numbers go down too. I ran this motor earlier and got about the same readings, kind of going between 3460 and 3500, six and a half amps. Good enough. Let's see, which one will we do next? Let's look for motor number one. Five. There it is, there's one. Arbitrary numbers. I've got them engraved on the can. Okay, here we go. Real high amp draw. Over eight amps.
but I think you'll see as the uh, as the brushes start to cut in the amp draw should go down and the pitch should go up like magic pretty much what I got earlier this afternoon pitch is a lot higher than what I got this afternoon amp draw is the same it's seven and three quarter amp so it's a real power sucker and you can see by far this one's got the uh, the highest amp draw and it's also got the highest pitch it's kind of hurting my ears actually turn that off it kind of hurts all right let's let's do something else here here's uh here's a row of uh pro slot sealed motors Let's try one of these. This is sealed motor number seven. Be sure to put the red on the uh, on the back, and we'll turn this one on. So with these, I'm gonna switch from uh, five volts to ten volts. Now, I've noticed that with these motors, the reading here, the hertz, kind of goes back and forth between 850, 800, and some other reading. So I think the tuner has a little bit of trouble picking up what the true pitch is of the motor. But uh, right now at 10 volts, this one looks like it's settling in at about 2600 hurts that one's pretty good here's motor number two Pretty similar pitch. There's number two. Here's motor number five. And what I do with these motors is I, I set a baseline first with the stock springs and stock brushes. And then I cut the stock brushes to make them basically 0.1 by 0.1 square on the contact. And then I go to Bigfoot 2 brushes with the trailing edge ground down. About the same. Anyway, I think this gives you a good idea of uh, <clears throat> how this works. And I hope this helps. Uh, you might have to go to your phone store to have them show you how to download this app. So that's... Uh, 
that's the app there. It's called it's called Fine Tuner. Looks like that. Okay, Fred. Hope you enjoyed that.